Hello and welcome back to the third episode of our complete guide to photo manipulation. Today we are going to learn how to place a subject inside our composition, how to change the colors of the dress, how to add this fence and of course how to add this eagle which is the easiest part of our tutorial. Last week we learned how to create this uh, background and today I want to move on with adding some subject. And the first subject that we are going to add is this uh, lovely lady that is sitting in the grass and I have this uh, picture from the DeviantArt website. You can find her using this uh, link. I will uh, give you the link also in the description but please check out her uh, gallery because it's huge. Today we are going to learn how to select a subject from a background and then place it in our own background. So if we are talking about this picture there are a lot of ways in selecting the subject. Some are good and some are not that good. The easiest way is using the Photoshop auto selection. So you can press the W and then here on the top just press select subject and then wait and Photoshop will select her from the background. As you can see uh, Photoshop is doing a really really nice job. Now if we press the mask tool using this selection without doing anything Photoshop did a really really nice job. So this took like 5 seconds and you're done. Another way of selecting the subject is using the quick selection tool. So just take this quick selection tool and with the mouse just select uh, the subject and it will do almost the same thing as the select subject that we tried in the beginning. The method that we are going to talk today is using the pen tool. So we have the pen tool selected or press the letter P. Before you start let's go here on the top where we have the settings. So if you click on this little icon please be sure that the rubber band is selected. If you want you can change the color of that band. I use the green color but you can use any other colors that you want. Let's talk about the pen tool. As you can see we have the pen tool selected and you must zoom in to see what you are going to do. So now if I press once with the mouse it will make this line, this point and this line. If we are going to start from some point, let's say this one, we can go into different directions. We can go clockwise to this part, to the right, something like that, or you can go to the left, depending on how you are used in doing this. Usually I go clockwise, it's easier for me because I'm a right-handed. Okay, so now as you can see we have this rubber band. If you would deselect this rubber band, you won't see it. It will still be there but it will be invisible. As you can see I press but I do not see what's going on. So it's really important that you have this rubber band selected. So now if I'm clicking in another point I will see where uh, this selection is going. So now you press once. Let's begin. So if I want to make this curve I'm going to click once after I go around the curve and then I'm dragging. And you can do like that to uh, all the parts that you want. At some point if you let's say click in another area that you shouldn't have clicked, let's say here, as you can see this point shouldn't be here. I'm just pressing Ctrl and while I'm holding the Ctrl I'm moving this point where I want it to be. So now always remember that you have to click and drag. Do not just click click. You have to click and drag with the mouse. Do not do this. Click 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 because this will do only straight lines and you, you need curves. So be sure that you are clicking and then dragging. And as you can see you should move this little curve up and down to match the line of your subject. Yeah, I'm going to uh, speed up this a bit. So I speed uh, this up until we reach the hair because here you can uh, do a selection and cut the hair also because we are going to paint in the next uh, episode of this guide uh, we are going to learn how to paint some hair on top of the original hair. So at the moment you can uh, just go like that and select uh, in a rough way the hair. Don't worry about it because we won't let it like that. So for the moment just select it the way it is. Here on the bottom I wanted to show you, you can leave the grass like that because in our original background we still have some grass so you can leave it like that. So you can go around and leave the grass on the in our selection. And 
uh, you can do that with the remaining part of uh, this uh, selection. I'm going to speed up this a bit because uh, it is boring and you should uh, learn other stuff. Here I want to erase that area, to hide that area, I'm not going to select that part of her dress because I think it looks better without it. So I'm going to move on with the selection and uh, I leave that area outside my selection. Okay, so when you finish you have to unite those points, the starting point with the ending point. And here it is, you have a selection and now when you finish just right click and click on the make selection. All right. So now you have your selection ready and just press on the little icon of the add layer mask. And now you have the subject selected and ready to be placed in our composition. So now press the move tool or the letter V and drag this layer inside our original background. Now we are going to create a group also because uh, I like to be organized. So whenever I'm coming back to a design I know which layer it's uh, what because otherwise if I would have here like 100 layers I wouldn't know uh, uh, which one represents and what okay so now I'm going to create a group and I'm going to call it lady I'm going to drag this layer inside our group and of course this one should be called lady too all right so now this layer with the girl it's of course too big as you can see she looks like a giant so now we are going to select uh, the mask a bit to see the horizon line so her horizon line is somewhere around here on the lake and this one is our original horizon line so we kind of need her to be like that but if we are going to bring back the mask by holding shift uh, it's too close to where I want her to be so we need to shrink the image a bit something like that and move her uh, here on the background I think now it's okay and you can press shift again on the little uh, thumbnail of the mask and I think she is placed really good now for our composition of course you can move her right or left where you think uh, it's best if you don't like the way I uh, place her all right so I'm going to hide those guides by pressing Ctrl and H now to blend her with our uh, background is to use a brush a grass brush first of all let's duplicate this layer in case that we are doing something wrong so press ctrl and j and here it is you have a duplicate we are going to hide this one by pressing the little i icon and now we are going to play around with this one so uh, if you don't have this brush with the grass i'm going to place it inside the description so you can download it so we have this brush with the grass if you go to the little thumbnail of the mask so be sure that the mask is selected and uh, the flow should be 100 percent for the from the beginning be sure that you have the brush and the black color selected now if we are going to zoom in you'll see that if i'm going to paint on this area she will blend better with our background because my grass brush uh, makes that original grass visible so basically what I'm doing now I'm making uh, using uh, this brush I'm making the background visible on top of our uh, lady so now if I'm going to use this brush as you can see I'm just painting around and I'm painting on the edges of her dress so here you can lower the the size of the brush and you co can continue and uh, adds from time to time you can make the brush bigger and just continue to paint and of course you should be really careful on some parts because here the brush should be a bit smaller not that big and of course we can do a lot of stuff adding more grass to the image and uh, by the end of the tutorial you'll learn other new and interesting things that you can use in your photo manipulations so here because we have the original grass on the hair we need to paint with a bigger brush all right so now she is uh, much better blended with our background if you look from the distance you can see that she looks like she is sitting there not taken from another background let's change her colors so she can match better with our background because she was uh, taken from uh, this background and 
As you can see here it's a daylight and there are other colors than in our picture where it's a, a night scene, alright? It's not a day scene. So now I'm going to add selective color adjustment layer. Just click on this little icon and choose selective color. As we learned in the last tutorial, we are going to clip this uh, adjustment layer to affect only our lady. So click on this icon and the settings that we are going to change now will affect only our layer with the girl, not the whole image. So we are going to begin with neutrals. Here we are going to decrease a bit the cyan and then I'm going to increase the yellow more and uh, the blacks. And I think I'm going to decrease a bit the magenta, something like uh, that. Go to blacks now. And here we are going to increase the science around 10% and also the magenta and the blacks. And I think it, uh, it looks good. Now we are going to change the color of her dress because it's too much green in our composition. So if you know how to do that you can skip this part but if you don't know how to change the color of her dress let's uh, move on. We are going to add another adjustment layer which is hue and saturation so go and choose hue and saturation clip it by using this little icon now be sure that you are on the mask take again the pen tool and zoom in to this side as you can see we have our green everywhere excepting this part so now i'm going to do a reverse selection in this way so with the pen tool selected i'm going to select the head with uh, this area of the neck All right, now right click and choose make selection. Click OK and be sure that you are on the white little thumbnail of the mask. Now hold Alt and press delete. Now you can deselect by pressing Ctrl and D. And if you are playing now with the settings, be sure that you are on the hue and saturation uh, thumbnail, not on the mask. And if you are changing something here, you'll see that you'll change the other part that we didn't select because we hold Alt when we make the selection. Now let's press Colorized and I'm going to increase the hue to around 190, something like that. And then I'm going to increase the saturation around something like 60%. Okay, so this is the color that I like for the dress. I think it's uh, blending better with our colors. There are still some adjustments to be done. So if you zoom in, you'll see that a bit of hair is still that color. So we are going to change that. Go on the hue and saturation thumbnail. Now select the mask and of course, let's select a soft brush. With the brush tool selected, go and make that brush smaller as the hair size. And if you paint, you'll see that it will bring back the color of our hair. And of course, I think here it should have the same because she is holding her hair somehow in her hand. So just paint with a brush and be sure that the black color is selected. Let's move on and add some other details. First of all, I want to add some fence and I'm going to give you the link to download it if you like to try my tutorial, of course. All right, let's drag this layer inside our uh, composition. I'm going to drag him to the top, this uh, fence layer. I'm going to rename into fence. And of course, I'm going to create a group, call it also fence and drag this layer inside our group and right click on the fence layer and convert it to a smart object. Now let's find a placement for this uh, fence. I think something like that. You can press Ctrl and T and drag it to make it a bit smaller, something like that. And now let's duplicate this layer and use it again in front of our eyes. So press Ctrl and J and drag it to the right. Now, of course, it doesn't look well in that position, so press Ctrl and T and right click on the image and flip it horizontally. Now, drag it to the left and make it bigger. And now we are going to place it in front of our eyes, something like that, make it bigger if you want. And now I think it looks really nice. Okay, so we placed our fence and now if you look 
uh, really close, you'll see that the fence is somehow sitting in the air, not in the grass, which is not okay. Be sure that you are on the right layer, so the, this one, the fence one, not the copy, alright. So here, add a mask, click on the little icon of add layer mask, take again the brush tool, but this time take the grass uh, brush tool. So now, if you paint with black, you'll see that we are going to create that uh, same grass effect on the fence and now the fence looks like it's uh, in the grass not in the air so we place the fence now i'm going to place this eagle and of course you will have the link for it in the description of the video let's drag it into our composition and let's uh, move it to the top do the same thing create a group call it eagle and of course drag your eagle layer inside the group and rename it to eagle all right right click convert it to a smart object i think our eagle is too big let's press ctrl and t for the transformation tool and drag one of the corners and make it smaller and just drag it where you think it's best for your composition in our today's tutorial i think here it's okay all right so we have our eagle ready and placed and with this step we finished the tutorial for today of course our composition is not finished, we still have a lot of things to learn, so next week we are going to learn the last part of this complete guide of photo manipulation. Because it is the last tutorial of the year, it will be an epic tutorial and I cannot wait to show you the way I do the shadows, the lights and all the other magic things that I use in my photo compositions. If you had the patience to watch this tutorial until this point, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be sure that you won't miss my next tutorials. And also, of course, follow me on Instagram where I post my work. So, see you next time.